Sweating. We just found the dresser we we're gonna get finally in the wrong section, of course. There's all our stuff. It's gonna be a long day. Hello, and welcome back to my channel. Today we have a very exciting video because as you guys may know, Jordan and I just moved into a new apartment. Yesterday we did what any normal couple would do and we went to Ikea and we got a bunch of stuff. How much did we spend, babe? 1400? Okay, today I'm gonna to be doing an, an Ikea haul. I'm gonna show you guys what we got. It's all behind me here for $1,400. Okay, very important delivery before we get going on all that. You should come drink it outside, Jordan. Hey, babe. Oh yeah, this is awesome. Major key. Going up. We didn't start building yet, but we needed food. We're just having a little McDonald's pick me up before we start our building. And we're eating on the deck because it's 12 degrees today. Spring has sprung. So I just checked our receipt. We spent $1,436.87, but that included getting all this stuff shipped to us the next day. So pretty fast shipping and we wanted to get some stuff from Struck too, but I've heard that sometimes it takes a really long time to get the items and where we have, we moved in and we have no furniture. We're just like, let's get it now. We found stuff we liked or we loved. That's what we got for $1,436.87. Yeah, it's gonna be a long day. We have some stuff to build for sure. And we just got it all delivered pretty much this morning. So I think I'm just gonna start with the small stuff because I have a feeling later on, I'm gonna be super tired and probably not going to do it anymore. So the first thing I got is this sage green little scrubber. I'm pretty sure this was like $2. Uh, it sticks. So I don't know like if we're gonna stick to this to the counter. It's quite long. Um, but anyways, I kind of like this because you don't have to get your hands wet. And there's a nice little scrubber there too. And also sage green, very in right now. We love this. Next thing we got are these little jars. And Jordan already had three of these and we like storing dry goods in them. So we have one for our coffee, flour, and oats oh we have oats in our third one my mom actually just gave us a popcorn maker so we wanted one of these to store our popcorn kernels in and then i think we're going to store some like pumpkin seeds in this one and we put those like usually in our salad so love these they have like the seal so they keep them fresh and they look cute next we got another kitchen item this is like one of those like kitchen scrubbers you can put like soap in right there and it's also like the sage green color you can scrub and press the soap at the same time so yep just another kitchen item and then we got these hooks um so we can put up a shelf in our shower yeah just two of them that's not that exciting we got some other stuff some bigger items as you can see behind me so as we take those out today i'll kind of show you guys what we got and i'll probably i'll link everything down below but i hope you guys enjoy this video it's gonna be a fun one Okay, we're just gearing up to start building this and we're probably gonna start with our couch. Spoiler alert, we got a couch. is where we're at it was it's been a long afternoon <laughs> oh my god we need to take a break because we're exhausted and here we thought we were building all of our items today we're still it's like what been probably two hours 
two hours. Our apartment is so hot because there's so many windows. So we just turned on the AC. So we're waiting for it to cool down and taking a break. Never buy an IKEA couch. Oh, <laughs> Take directions on how to put the cushions in. The couch is put together right, right? As far as I can tell. Like, there's no other way that this could. It's upside down. What? I think that's upside down. What is? This. This is higher than the rest of us. This, I think, should be down here. Hey, look. there's no. No, look. I'm, d I'm not making the rules. This is an IKEA couch. Look, this lines up here. This lines up here. This does not line up here. So you think we got the whole thing backwards? I think this is the only thing that's wrong. No. Jordan, it's not right. Can you go back to- Okay, crisis averted. We just had to flip this top piece. What? We're supposed to put the Velcro on first. Or like this piece, because then it oh. Okay, I just take it off. Okay. As long as you don't take the arms off. How many times have we put this piece off? I don't know where the brackets are. Okay, right, now the tools are gonna go in properly. Oh my god. Is that right? Yes. <laughs> oh my god. It's comfortable. Oh my god, we did it! I can't believe we made it. I cannot believe we're done. I didn't see the end in sight. <sighs> so yeah, this is the couch we got. What's it called? Finala? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Just get a structure couch. I can't believe we made it. Yeah, we just need the TV up there. Okay, it might have taken all day. But wow, look at that couch. She cute. She real cute. Worth it? Yeah? <laughs> I have my lovely assistant here helping me. Right, Jordan? Mm -hmm. that. So this is the rug that we got. It's called the Low Halls rug. I was unsure if I was gonna like the way it felt on my feet, but I actually really like it. Um, it's $120, which is not bad for the size. It's cute. And it goes really nicely with our new couch as well. This is the dresser we got from Ikea. It's Malm, I think is how you pronounce it. Six drawer in the oak veneer. Um, and we picked this one out just because it was a good size for us. And we each will have three drawers. So we like the oak veneer, nice and like natural for our room. And in a later video, you guys are gonna see how I spice the dresser up to make it not look so Ikea, if you know what I mean. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you did like it, make sure you do subscribe. I do have another IKEA and HomeSense haul coming up for next week's video. If you wanna see that one, it'll be posted next week on Monday at 7 p.m. And yeah, if you did like it, give a thumbs up, drop a comment, let me know what your favorite item we bought was, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.